Hello, Star Citizens. This is Mr. Everything from the First Royal Aerospace Squadron, and I am coming to you with another Starship Spotlight. This one is of the Carrick, the exploration ship. The Anvil Carrick features reinforced fuel tanks for long duration flight, an advanced jump drive, a dedicated computer core for jump charting operations. Originally a military exclusive, the Carrick is now available for civilian use. Onboard accommodations include crew medical and repair facilities, and a mapping-oriented sensor suite. All right, as you can see right here, we have it as an exploration vessel. It's 123 meters long. It has a 180,000 kilogram mass. It Crew is five. Cargo capacity is zero. You know, that can be changed with, with possibly the module system. It has two primary engines, the TR-6s, and quite a few maneuvering thrusters. It looks like 16 TR-2s. It has a size 6 power plant, uh, quite a few different hard points. It has uh, class 4 and class 5 hard points, which if you've heard of, uh, recently, they are doing away with the class system. But what this basically means is it's a turret without a crew member in it, and the class 5s are turrets with crew members in it. It has a size 7 shield, and of course it has slots for two additional options. Today I'll show some really cool picks and discuss what we see in some of them. Uh, there's concept picks, which are not the final version of the ship, but remember, everything is subject to change. Okay, let's take a look at the early concept picks, like the cockpit. The cockpit shape, which is very open and unique. And uh, here is a version which was discarded. Along with a scale test that shows a cargo container, a constellation, and a very small person. And another size scale test. Remember, this engine location and look was scratched. This pic shows a number of Carrick options and angles. Just more pics. And this one, to me, it just looks like a submarine. It looks like there was a time when they considered a single landing gear in the front. And here was a test uh, just to see how the antennas might work or how they might look. Now here are multiple gray boxing pictures. Uh, you'll see this one with the antennas up. This is a close-up of the turret on top, right in front of a docking collar. Uh, you'll see the various antennas. These are all gray boxed. You can see how they repositioned the engines to a to a lower position, and the underside module slash uh, garage. The antenna shapes have changed, and kind of what the silhouette would look like. And from the top, here are some more concept arts. Uh, these are more polished gray boxing, with a focus on the cockpit. You can kind of see uh, showing off the armored shielding. And, you know, that'll scroll down and cover the windows. Right there is a very good picture of the shielding covering the windows. Like if you're in a dogfight or if you're flying through a thick asteroid field. And you can see here they moved the uh, docking collar way farther forward and added a second one behind the turret. And it has four landing gear. And here is a close-up comparison of the shield retracted and deployed. And here is a render of a ship with its arms open, scanning, and closed like when they're in an asteroid field to avoid damage to the arms. Here's another landed, deploying its rover. And here's even a better picture of like one of the mo cargo modules that it could be carrying inside, uh, underneath and deploying its uh, buggy. And this is just a 
graphical representation of what that might look like on a, a unexplored planet. It's beautiful. Now before we go into the interior pics, I want to show some action shots. Now you know this is a work in progress entering a jump point. And this is a more up-to-date pic of a jump point. And here is the Carrick leaving a jump point. Also with a more up-to-date version. Here is a clean front view. You can see the rover garage, the retractable canopy cover, you can see the jump plotting antenna arms, and you can see the turrets on the nacelles. A top view showing some of the key points of interest of the Carrick, like the antenna array, retractable canopy cover, thrusters, solar panels, turrets, drone launchers, scout ship hangar, the antennas, the landing gear, the ion power generator, and of course the primary thrusters. And here's the side view. Okay, let's start to look inside the Carrick with a cross-section look. You got two levels here with uh, three seats up front and a huge level of visibility, you know, for the pilot and navigator and such. Now you can see the three flight crew seats with the split level behind. This is the frontal shot of the same chairs and a view of those chairs from behind. And now we're going to look at the lower deck with the elevator, med bay, sleeping beds, and the stairs up. And here is the same level, just looking forward. Here is a look at the stairs and elevator. In this shot, you can see they've added a gate to exit the elevator or lift. Now the next few pics are of the exploration map table and the upper deck. And here is as if you were on the stairs, exiting the stairs. And this is the map table. You can see additional crew beds on the top deck also. And now looking back at the table from the front of the ship. And that was a tour of the Carrick. Hope you enjoyed it. Look for more Starship Spotlights and subscribe and like this video. And we'll see you in the verse.